Hello, and welcome to What's Bubbling at Zim. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we will take a look at the new hit test path that allows us to do hit tests of any object shape against a path such as a blob or a squiggle. All right, let's take a look at an example. And now one of the things that happens is we get these certain dots, if we want, we can turn them on. And this shows that we're making these points around the blob. And as we change the blob like that, you can see that the points also move. Now if we pick up one of these things, if these things hit, or if the circle hits any of those points, it starts to record that as, as being a hit. It just disappeared or vice versa. If we move that and hit the circle, the same thing uh, deals uh, there as well. So uh, another thing new is we've, we've added a way that we can add points along the edge. So now this one doesn't have points in the middle like we had before, but we've added points along the edge. And uh, isn't that cool? And when we add the point along the edge, it doesn't change the shape. So the shape doesn't change. It just adds the point and it adjusts the, the handles on either side to not change shape. So that was really exciting to go through and see what the code is like to be able to do that. Um, um, wow, that's cool. And you see how we're getting more dots along this thing so that uh, it's still doing the hit test bounds uh, on there as well. Isn't that neato mosquito? Uh, the docs for that are here hit test path in amongst the other hit tests. And uh, they've got the example, roughly that example that we were looking at there, I suppose. You can say how many how many uh, dots, in a sense, or points you're, you're testing against in there. And what it does, well, we started off saying, okay, well, we'll put three points between the existing points. But then if you had existing points that were squeezed closer together and three points in it, and then you had a really long distance between other points and you had only three points between it, it caused, you know, it wasn't all that great because you could then get through the points. So what we did is swap that up a little bit so that um, there's going to be three points in between, but then we distribute those points uh, evenly around the whole blob or roughly evenly around the whole blob there. And there's the show points parameter, so obviously you would, you would want to turn that off. Let's see if we can see some code on that. Here it is, and if we don't show that, oh, there we've got five points between. So we save that up and view it in the browser here. Refresh. Uh, there you don't see them, and yet still the hit test points on that works. Cool. So this is located at zimjs.com slash hit test points. And like anything new in Zim, we pop into the docs. Oh, we already had that open. Uh, up at the top here, whoop, there's the updates. And in the updates is squiggle and blob paths. So a few more things along in there as well. We added add point, so now you can with code add a point at any percentage. And add points, which is sort of like what you were seeing there, where if you say add points one, it will add a point between all of the points uh, halfway in between sort of thing. And the same with add points two, would add two points between all the points. Then there's this interpolate here, which is what was giving us all of those points around the circle. And what's exciting about that, mentioned in here as well, is that's heading towards dynamic dynamic bounds. Uh, we can now put, and we've got a, another code got added in here. It was called oop, rect intersect no, uh, bounds around points. So if you have a, an array of points, this will put a rectangle around those points. So that would give us bounds for the squiggle or a blob, which means we could then uh, do things like have a, a, a drag boundary like we do with dragging rectangles and circles where you can't drag a blob outside of the, the, the stage, that kind of thing. So look forward to that in an upcoming Zim. We've had done a lot of changes in this one and uh, we may as well let those settle a little bit and, and 
<laughs> carry on like always. So uh, it's always nice to hear your thoughts on that. We're at uh, What's Bubbling at Zim, and we've got um, uh, Zim on Slack as well. So HTTP colon, HTTPS colon, zimjs.com slash Slack. And you can come and talk to us and try out some things and hang out with us. That would be great. Love to see you there. So, uh, ciao for now from Dr. Abstract here at Zip. Bye-bye.